and welcome to the Starlight 2020 Senior Celebration. Uh, we put together a little live event for you today uh, to uh, talk with some of the graduating seniors a little bit and see some of their work in Starlight and uh, some of what they've been doing at home in quarantine and see where they're moving towards. Uh, so let's check out our first senior. Here we have Jason. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Uh, so, how long have you been with Starlight? This was my second year. Pretty new to all of it, but... Uh, what has been your favorite part of Starlight so far? Um, I just love how inviting everyone was, basically. Uh, what is something that you've learned from Starlight? Um, I really learned to, like, not be afraid. Like, everyone, everyone there was so, like, helpful. Like, I was terrified to audition for anything. Like, I used to cry, which is, like, stupid. But um, now I'm, like, audition auditioning, like, isn't that scary? Like, Sin was just, like, just have fun with it. Like, just have fun. Which is great. Yeah. And uh, what are your plans for next year? Um, so due to the whole virus stuff, plans changed, but I eventually will be going to New York for, um, I wanna be a hairdresser. Well, I already have my license, but I wanna move there to kind of boost my career and then eventually get into um, dancing. Like I wanna be more of like a backup dancer for like, Ariana Grande or like Britney Spears, something fun like that. Here we have Yana. Uh, how long have you been with Starlight? Um, since I was in fifth grade, so seven years now. Uh, what has been your favorite part of that experience? Um, honestly, probably specifically last year. Um, I got really close with like a lot of the people in the cast and I don't know I felt myself like changing while the process of the show went on and I thought that that was a really cool experience because I'd been there already for six years and I had, hadn't fully felt that yet but it was like a whole new level of closeness and development over the course of the show. Uh, what's something that you've learned from Starlight that you think you can take on to the like next chapter of your life? Honestly, I think that there's a much larger openness um, in accepting people because so many different people come to Starlights and there's, I don't, it's not so uniform. And I don't know, I feel like that just kind of enriches the show. And mm -hmm. I think that is a parallel with the rest of the world. 
Nice. So what are your plans for next year for after you graduate? <laughs> yes. Um, I am committed to URI as of right now, which is University of Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. And I think that maybe after the first semester, I want to move out to California and establish residency and college out there and then kind of see what I want to do in like the film business because I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I spoke with Doc today and told him that we would be coming back to Laramie for the trials of Aaron McKinney and Russell Henderson, and this is what he had to say. So here we have Nola. How long have you been with Starlight? Um, I've been with Starlight for like four to five years. So I'll I'll round it up. I'll do five. So a little bit, five years. <laughs> uh, what's been your favorite part of the experience? Um, probably everyone involved. Like Starlight's just a huge family, and getting to be in that family is just like really overwhelming and I love it with my entire heart. <laughs> What's one of the best things you've learned? Um, <laughs> for Starlight, everything is about the process. <laughs> so that's like my biggest thing, just like trust each other, like trust the way the wind blows, go with the flow, try to like put hard work, as long as you put hard work and dedication to anything, you'll end up where you want. So that's my biggest thing. <laughs> And uh, what are your plans for next year? Um, I am going to Muhlenberg for the class of 2024, and I'll be pursuing theater, so still in the ring. <laughs> uh, would, would you say Starlight helped you get there? Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> my school didn't have a theater program, so like Starlight basically cemented my decision to continue theater, so absolutely. Uh, and is there anything last you left to say? Um, I don't know, just I'll miss everyone. Hi for anyone watching. Um, I'll miss you. I miss everyone already. Um, and just trust the process, keep going, and I'll see y'all soon, so. Jet, uh, how long have you been with Starlight? I have been with Starlight since third grade, so nine years or ten years. What's What's been your favorite part of that experience? I have always liked helping with the kids, even when I wasn't on the teen board. Like, I'm not necessarily going to uh, pursue theater as like a career, but it's helped me realize that I want to help people. And so helping the kids has really been like a main focus point for me. Do you have any like specific favorite memories? 
Um, well, one time in Les Mis, so three years ago, there was like this um, structure that we weren't supposed to climb on, but I was younger and I got in trouble for climbing on it. But soon afterwards, she was just like worried about me. So it was more, she was thoughtful instead of mad at me. So it made me realize that like people care about me and it was actually a good memory, even though I was scared at the time. <laughs> nice. Uh, so what are you, what are your plans for after all of this, after graduating? Um, I'm going to be studying at Bryant University in Rhode Island. Um, I'm going to be majoring in environmental science and I'll maybe go to med school or veterinarian school afterwards. Um, but they do have a theater program there and I'm hoping to like just try out for fun because I did that with Starlight and I made some of my best friends there. Like I'm not going to. I don't know. They're my best friends. And so I theater is just like awesome. And I want to keep that in my life, even if I don't follow that, like professionally. You shut your mouth, you'll get what's yours. So next we have Andrea. Say hi. Yeah. Hi. Uh, I'm gonna do that again because I it was weird. Um, okay. Next we have Andrea. Hi. Uh, <laughs> that was weird. No. <laughs> One more time. Third time's a charm. Okay. Next we have Andrea. Hello. Okay. So Andrea, how long have you been with Starlight? So this um, is my eighth year. I started it in fourth grade, and then I skipped junior year, like at school. I still did Starlight throughout mm -hmm. every time. Uh, so that adds up to eight years. Wow. Um, and what, what was your favorite show that you've done at Starlight so far? I loved Newsies. Newsies was so much fun. Oh my gosh. That was um, last year's show. And I got to play Crutchy for one of the shows, and it was it was just a really good time. Yeah. Uh, what are you most disappointed about not getting to do uh, Fiddler this year? You know, I was really you senior year, so I was really just hoping to do my last show with Starlight and make it a really great one. And so it's it's disappointing that I won't get to do that. But you know, the situation is what it is, and. I feel like we're making the best of it, so. Yeah. Uh, on, a, on a lighter tone, what, what's your favorite, like, moment from Starlight that you remember? I love the first day, um, because we've been away from Starlight for a while, whether it's the first day in the fall, or we've been away for Christmas break or whatever, and so it's the first day again in the, in, for the spring show. But just getting to see everyone I haven't seen for a while, and then getting to see new faces, and meet the new younger kids and see the old, the younger kids who I haven't seen for even longer, especially in the fall because their show is sooner than ours in the spring. So it's, it's just, and everyone's just so excited to be there and just so happy. And it's, it's really amazing. I really love it. Yeah. Uh, so what are your plans? What are you doing next year? So I just committed to University of Miami in Florida, and I will be taking their stage management BFA program um, to be a stage manager in the future. Nice. How did Starlight play a role in that, if any? Well, I was introduced to, um, to stage management at my school, but I, um, I did get to stage manage a lot at Starlight, which was very nice and definitely helped me build up my resume and help me get into colleges and all that. Um, I was co-stage manager on line, no, Mary Poppins. I was co-stage manager on Mary Poppins, um, but I did get to do some stage managery stuff on Lion King. 
and I was going to be stage co-stage managing um, Beauty this year. Nice. Well, any anything else you want to say for our Starlight family? I love you all, and I miss you all, and I hope to come visit you all whenever we all get to get back together, and it's safe to do that. But for now, you know, we're all still here, even if we don't see each other. So reach out, check in with each other, reach out to me. I'm always happy to chat. Thank you so much. Well, I hope you stay safe and healthy and have a great year next year at school. Thank you. And so I just wanted to say a few things. Um, Andrea, Andrea, you have been um, like my right-hand gal. Uh, we think so much alike, especially when it comes to the message we're always trying to tell the kids. You know, so many times the kids will want to go off and do something and say, yeah, yeah, but think of what that message is saying, you know, and you and I are always right there. Um, thank you for all your work, all your stage managing, all your just passion for the kids, passion for Starlight, for always being there. And um, I wish you everything but the best. Nothing but the best. Everything, all good. <laughs> um, Jason. Jason, when you come to rehearsal, I tend to be relaxed. And I don't really get relaxed a whole lot. Because I know that um, the choreography especially is going to be great. But you bring, um, I don't know if you know this, but you, you bring off calmness, you know? And that when I know that you're there, okay, things are going to be good. And I know that you're going to take those steps and, and um, you know, like, like, and, um, the last show that we did, there was a lot of choreography, changing sets and scenes and everything else. And I'm always so nervous about safety and everything else. But I know that you're there and I know that everybody's going to be good and, and it's just going to be great. So, and, and you, you, you've only been with us a couple of years now, but um, you're family. And so we will always be there for you. Okay. Oh, you're going to make me cry. Oh, <laughs> I know. If I get through this without... Um, and I also wanted to speak on top of, um, on behalf of Jen, um, who just adored working with you. Um, and she wanted to thank you too for all your hard work and stuff. Yeah. So thank you. Um, Nola, um, you're pure fun. You come in and your smile just lights up a room and you, um, your laughter is uh, contagious and your spirit and you just come in and say, I just want to have fun with it. I just, you know, like, give me a part. I want to grow with it, but let's just have fun. And you always are bringing fun to, to the whole situation. Um, so thank you for all your work, especially with um, the skating and everything you did to help out to get that skating done. Um, we will miss you and we wish you the best. Um, Jet, you have... Um, be, so many talents, uh, singing, choreography, acting, but of course you know that your ability to work with kids is just phenomenal. You are like the child whisperer, you know. Um, they just bond to you and, and you're just great with them. And let me tell you, and you'll hear this over and over and over from a lot of people that, that have been with Starlight for a long time and yourself, I'm sure included, that you always remember those that mentor you. I remember the teens and your, your mentoring will go on for a long, long time. These kids that you've touched will, will be remarkable, you know, and they will remember you and, and refer to you always. And so when those seventh grade, seven year olds come up and they're seniors, they're going to say, I need to thank Jet. So thank you for all you did with the kids. Well, I have notes here. And we love you. And it's been like what nine years or something? Third grade. Third grade. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sorry, Yana, is not with us because you guys started together, right? Yeah. 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 Um, and so, on behalf of Starlight's Youth Theater, we want to. Um, I don't know if you can see this. Maybe you can't see it. But we want to give you a scholarship each for two hundred and fifty dollars. So um, you will be getting a check from Claire for $250 as your scholarship to just encourage you to, to keep on with the arts and just to say thank you. 